So Shell Israel and I wrote this book called Age of Context, and one of the chapters in there was about digital assistants. You probably know of Google Now, for instance, that uh, tries to guess what you're uh, going to do next and tries to help you live your life. Well, uh, we're going to get a look at Sherpa right now, which is way better, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you right now. Who are you? I'm Xavi Uribe Chavarria, the founder and CEO of uh, Sherpa. I, I was born in Bilbao and studied electronic engineer, industrial engineer, and then I decided to, to, to start a PhD uh, in natural language processing. I didn't finish, I came to the US, I met uh, some people here and I finished my studies and then I decided to come back and, and build my first company that was called Amboto. But as my dream was always to build something for a consumer, I, I started Serpa two years, two years ago, and, and that's the, uh, the result of the, all, all the research that I have done in my life. Very cool. What is Serpa? Let me know. Yeah, I, I would say, I don't know how, how to call it, because it's something between a digital assistant plus uh, search plus predictive. Um, so I would say that is the, the informator, the, 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 the system that informs us during our lives. Sometimes I need to ask, sometimes it will, it will tell me what, what I, I will need in soon. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's it's, the key. It's really amazing where voice, and we're going to use it on camera in a second, but when you talk to Sherpa, it, it really is accurate on understanding what you're trying to say to it, which is, uh, man, it's a magical world. I remember the early days of uh, voice recognition or uh, uh, systems. And they just wouldn't work that well because they didn't have enough context to figure out what you're trying to say, right? Yeah, that's right. But uh, so we try to, to improve any speech recognition that we use. And we use, we have our own natural language processing engine based on five analysis, seman uh, morpho morphological, syntactical, semantic, pragmatic, and functional. And then we decide what, what phrases and or what is trying to say the user. But it's not only about voice. When I, when I talk about Sherpa, I always say, this is not only about voice. Yeah. This is only one part of the input. Also text, and we, text is the most used uh, like input to Sherpa and touch screen. For, yeah. We should probably go back up to 35,000 yeah. feet. This is an Android app, right? Yeah, that's right. Is it a free app? It's a free app. Right. It's not launched yet. Okay. In, the, in the US, we are doing some trials. Uh, in the Spanish-speaking market, but it's not it's not uh, it's not launched yet in the yeah. U.S. market. And uh, iPhone uh, version will come later after you prove that this is uh, a viable yeah. product, right? That's what we want. We we want to be in as much as devices as, as we can. So any platform, uh, especially iPhone, will be one of our uh, were key interests, but we need to first we needed to finish the product. Uh, yeah. We need to focus on the product, finish the right product, and then go go for the distribution in all the platforms. Because this is almost a platform, it, it, it's hard to explain what a platform does. So maybe we should just demo it, and okay. people will get a sense of uh, what it does and and why it's better than like Google Now, right? Great. Yeah. So I'll come over here. So what are we going to see here? So right now, when I open Serpa, I can see that it's, it's loading my, uh, based on my interests, some uh, things that I may like to know. For example, the, it's, it's pulling up the, the weather, uh, the, going to church, the, some, some stock results, some meetings that I have later, and some, uh, some like concerts and restaurants that I may like. So this is, this is the predictive part where Sherpa is learning about me and it's showing me the information that I may like. Uh, the rest is about asking, uh, let's go to, for, for, for a quick search. For example, if I ask like, how old is Robert Scoble? So if we have the right answer, Sherpa is going to show us the right answer. If not, uh, it's going to help us to, to get the right answer. So we use 
uh, is searching uh, on the web uh, and trying to get the right information. Uh, for example, uh, it uh, is right. So yep. is it, is it is right. So also, if I do a normal search like Robert Scoville, I will get I will get uh, results based on uh, in a in a different way. We don't like ten underlying links. We wanted to change that that into something much more visual, much more interactive, much more informative. So we had a Twitter profile, some vid or some here some videos that I that you might like. So, but if I ask for a different thing, let's say that I want to know like uh, about how many people live in London. So if I want to know a different thing, years old. Sherpa, no. Sherpa is creating a unique website of the information I ask. Is uh, searching, is detecting the official website of London, uh, videos, weather, how many kilometers are from here to London. So it's creating a new website based on the information I asked. So it's not sending me 10 underlying links, it's creating a visual search uh, search results. And if I ask like San Francisco Giants, so depending what I'm asking, it's going it's to- It's amazing, the voice recognition is amazing with your accent, I mean, <laughs> you know. Have you trained this? Have you done? No, 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 no. It's not. So it would trained. it would work with me if I started talking to it. Yeah, for sure. So I have the the latest results, the upcoming games, uh, also the like the Twitter profile, the official website of San Francisco Giants. It's a new way to 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 search. So that's we have been working a lot with the UI with with uh, like seven designers all around the world. So that's, that's, that's the result. And if I ask for a company, let's say Yahoo, uh, I will get different things. Like for example, the stock value, again, Twitter profile, uh, and some other results that I may like, for example, the, the, the news. So that's, that's about when I'm talking about search. But what about things that are not related with search, like interacting with our social networks, Yeah. like Show me my last mentions on Twitter. So if I want to get that, I will get them. Or post on Facebook, hello, I'm with Robert. And it'll do that automatically. Yeah, so you can post it. I can then post it and I will get uh, get posted in, in, in a second in my, in my, in my wall. Yeah. So what else? I can do uh, many other things like um, set it up. Almost all things that we can do with Siri, let's say like, look at, this is the, the screen again, the, the home screen. Yeah. Uh, set up a meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Tell me the title for the appointment. Dentist. So, almost all the okay. things. Okay, here you have the details of the appointment. Would you like me to add it to your calendar? Uh, the microphone's might yes. not be picking this up, but it's asking you what what the title is. Okay. It, it picked it up. Okay. So I'm I'm adding a task. I'm adding. I can I can do almost put set up the alarm. Almost all the things that you can do with Siri can do it with, so it's a, it's will be like a combination with Siri, Google Now, predictive capabilities, plus a unique UI that can show the information in a different way in a mobile, because it's in a, in a, in a mobile device, in a, in a cell phone. It's pretty crazy. So you're using, you've built a really customized uh, voice recognition system that you're using uh, Google and Nuance, right? And then you built yeah, your own system on top of that to figure out which is the right one to use. Yeah, no, we, what we do is filter uh, the results and try to, try to uh, understand what, what is the, the right result. Yeah. Plus, then we do the rest, which is the, 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 the surprise learning about, oh, it's always learning. We have our own artificial intelligence systems. Uh, some of them are neural networks, some of them are other kind of, of techniques we use to to improve results, to improve the to try to learn from the user and so 
the information in a much more like accurate way for, uh, for, for each user, not for each group of users, it's for each user. And then if you, it, once you understand whether it's a restaurant yeah. or a music or yeah. a sports team or a stock quote or something like that, you build custom UIs that, that really pull the best information from around the internet and that's display. right. Let's say you said music. Let's say what, what was your favorite? Skrillex. Skrillex. That's your favorite music band. So when we have this, we can have the play songs uh, and have the all the information about the Skrillex. So we videos the, and stuff like that. Yeah. Videos, webs, and also the who are the the like the people a little a, a script of that and if the the internet yeah. was well we will be able to to listen to a song of Skrillex yeah so that's the um, do you, the, could I ask it a question like uh, what's the best uh, French food within five miles yeah for sure let's try it what's the best French restaurant will show us that and it knows where you are, so it'll, yeah, it won't show me the one in London, you know, <laughs> or Paris. <laughs> Paris probably has the best French restaurants. Café de Soleil, La Fusion, whatever. Yeah. So those are the let's go garage or here. I can also go to the map and see where, where is that, yeah. that restaurant. Or even I can call them and say, OK, I'm not going to call them. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have all the very nice, very nice. Um, why why can a little startup do so much better than Google now? What what is going on in your company that lets you do this kind of system that in a better way than even Apple is doing it? We are just focused on the user. Yeah. So we do many many user testing. We do. Uh, test things we we do that we analyze the user we try to give the best product to the user yeah. so that's that's why maybe a company like ours sometimes is doing better does job it, than others does it get better as you use the product is it for learning? sure okay. yeah. yeah so yeah, it yeah. knows you a little bit you know when you say San Francisco Giants uh, it, it it's uh, knows that you're uh, into baseball and you, you and it probably uh, found the result a little bit better than if it did. That's didn't. right, that's right. And if I ask for San Francisco Giants, it will think, not only if I ask, well, it's if I ask on, depending where, where am I, uh, it's also taking information if the user wants to give that information. So it's going to pull up the, uh, when a, the San Francisco Giants is doing a run, yeah. it's going to pull up the information at exact time, not, not as, other other what, systems what what happens in Sherpa when you hit something that it doesn't know the answer to I, or isn't hooked up? I complete I, I completely agree with you so what we wanted is not to be like very good at this and then like have a like a, a fall off and, and and don't do the rest of the things we wanted to like minimize the curve of that and do some things really well and the things that we are not um, doing well, let's say that we don't have an answer, at least give a, a, a kind of, uh, as, I, as I show you, the, a kind of website of the information you can ask. We, can we try that search? Uh, do, how many people are checked in at the Half Moon Bay Ritz-Carlton uh, right now? How many people are checked in on Foursquare at the Half Moon Bay Ritz-Carlton? Yeah, it's still... Uh, Oh, it does, uh, so we have a, at least it gives you them, and you can start typing if, to fix yeah, things. Yes, for sure. And search it again. Does it learn when you try to correct something like that? That that's an important yeah. word to. Yeah, the word. Yeah. Web so you you sort of have the same problem that Siri does. That it, it, it's still not hooked up to the API of Foursquare where that has that answer, right? I will show you. Uh, actually, we don't have the same, because let's say that you say to Siri, uh, let's say that you say, 
I want to eat pizza. Yeah. And there is a website called I want to eat pizza. You will never get that that website at Siri. Yeah. So we give a kind of we can give you I want we can give you the pizza restaurants, the website that is called that and some other things that so we build a unique a unique website. And if we integrate Foursquare, actually in our past product is integrated. Yeah. It will it, it will give you but is that it's an interesting it shows that there's still uh, more work to be done to, sure. to hook for up sure. to all these it APIs never you know uh, for instance my nest thermostat right does it uh, does it look at uh, anything in the internet of things in the home because my nest thermostat knows the temperature in my house right now right so I could ask it how how hot is it at home right now but it's probably not hooked up to nest right that not now but, yeah. but this is one of the, the yeah. things that we are it shows that uh, whoever owns this space uh, has an infinite amount of work <laughs> to yeah. make it work anyway. better and better and better over time. <laughs> you know, your uh, car, you brought up cars. The cars have uh, 100 sensors now. In the car, there are many, many things that we can be, in they can be improved uh, with just a uh, right product. Uh, it's doing all in one, in one step. So things like that are the things that makes different in a car. Like, yeah. take me to my next meeting or take me home, things like that, that can, can be done with, with other systems uh, are, the, are, are key for, 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 for the car. So uh, tell me about the company. How did you fund this and uh, uh, how many people are working there? So we are 11 people. Uh, our developer team is in, in Bilbao. And I funded, like, uh, I did, that's my second, I would say my second startup. Yeah. So I had some, some money from, from, from the, the other and I funded this company. Then I did a convertible uh, node round yeah. of two, let's say $2.2 .2 million. Very uh, impressive. To build this with $2 million is yeah. impressive. <laughs> and then, and, and actually we are, right now we are, we are raising a, a much bigger round. And that's, a, that's what, how we are right now. But Very hopefully cool. we, are, we are not in a hurry and we are, we have many. Well, it's, it's, going to it's going to be interesting to see how this space plays out. There's, uh, mm -hmm. there's several of these kind of assistants that are trying to own this space or bring something out, but this is one of the best I've seen. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Uh, where you. do we get it? Sure, just search Sherpa in the Play Store? Or? Not yet. Okay. We, we will let you know when, when it will be available. So this is a little this, preview. Yeah, this is not, this is, uh, let's say, an, uh, an alpha or beta version of the, of the product. All right. So, so is, there a web, is there a website then people can sign up to yeah, get more news? It's called uh, like www.sher.pa. Yep. So share.pa. And that website, they can, anybody can sign up or, or, or send an email to, to be notified when, when it, it will be ready. So we are happy to. to Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. This is awesome. So. Thank you.